What is up guys, it is the Citrus Penny here today, and I'm coming at you with episode 49 of our Adventure Quest Let's Play. And, uh, as I said, this is going to be the second video for today. Um, last time, well last video, we did the bonus quest to get the uh, Mastercraft version of the Void, uh, <laughs> forget his name, wow, anyways. Avoid Vigilante, sorry. Uh, anyway, so the Void Vigilante. Now we're gonna get the Communica set. If you don't know how to get it, uh, you go to Alphanar, and then you can, now you might be like, where's it at, where's it at? You just click on the rainbow. Click on the rainbow, and then there you go, you start the quest. Uh, it's pretty easy, it's in theory the same exact thing as the uh, Twilight and the Overlord quest. However, I find it to be a little bit easier. The stat rolls aren't as a current and they're not as bad. So, anyways, I'm going to skip over all of the level 40 fighting and I'll be back when there are level 60s. Okay, guys, we are back and I just finished off all of the uh, level, the low levels basically, and now I'm on to the higher levels. So, holy crap, level 72. Fun stuff. Okay. Um, last time I did this, they were not this high level, but I guess I was going for level 60 set, not level 75. The thing there is that, the uh, I'm, technically speaking, the, they actually go to the same exact shop, so you're not going to a different shop to get the armor, you still have to get the same distance, but the monsters do get a higher level, so this might be a little bit challenging, I wasn't expecting this. However, we will prevail, don't worry about it. Um, hopefully we will. I use this for spell casting just because of the thing I've said, 25% chance of doing 50% more damage with spells, v yeah, divine energy boost the power of your spell. Um, I actually did get a new high hit on uh, when I was just farming Dracath a couple minutes ago uh, when I was level, got to level 75 in that fight. I hit a 616 with solar incinerator. I had this armor on and I got my bonus and it hit so much I, it was ridiculous um quite cool let's see here i haven't got to use this weapon yet and i have a feeling that i'm gonna i don't even know i guess that would be half my mana bar so i should probably save my other half for the next fight this might be a little bit more difficult than i originally intended okay what is that energy so possibly adventure no 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 no, no. night tail yeah see this used to be the rain set it was called like raining over something, not like uh, not rain that falls in the sky, but basically if the rains on the reindeer, rains on the reindeer. That's how you spell it. But it's like R E I G N whatever. But that's besides the point. It used to be called the rain set, and you used to be able to um, guard from energy and fire. Uh, the update changed it to the Overlord set, which basically just made it a fire set. Now I'm not sure if the fire set got like buffed, like it guards even more fire than before or not, but I'm not exactly sure. And I thought this was going to be a walk in the park to go to all my level 75 armors, but it's not going to be. Even when I go back to the Overlord and the Twilight set quest, that's going to be kind of challenging, I'm just going to say. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I mean, I probably will be able to manage to do it. I mean, it's not gonna be that hard, but it's gonna be a lot harder than the first time through. I, I know that. Okay, um, you know, kinda sucks. I should, I should have gotten the Morning Star set, possibly. Well, I guess not. I was gonna say these guys are doing earth damage, but they're not doing earth damage, so it doesn't really matter. But the other sets I'm getting, I, I waited off because I was at level 70 anyway. So, I'm getting the Communicate set, level 75 now, Overlord set, Twilight set, Asgardian set from Thunder Mountain, the Morning Star set from the Morning Star set on the map, and I'll figure out the other two. Probably as far as water armor goes, I'm going to be using the Peta Snide transformation, or rather, a lower level version. I'm not sure which one I can use. Uh, the Giga Snide is like level 84. Basically, what the Peta Snide transformations do. Uh, in a simplified form, they are an armor. Like, you can get a good damage armor because it gives you an extra armor slot. I'll explain that when this comes back up. Now, technically speaking, it's not an actual armor, the Peter Snide transformation. I'll show you really quick. It is a misc item. I don't have it, but if you go to items, it will be in here. So, in 
in, I guess, I don't know, a chain reaction in the event that that happens because you have water armor and your misc, then your armor has an extra slot. So the consequence of that is awesome, you know. It's not a bad consequence at all, it's a good consequence. Anyway, so it is a very good water resistant armor transformation i was gonna say armor but technically it's actually a transformation that transforms you into pitas not what pitas 9 looks like and then you get some bonuses i know you, you get minus to charisma but since i don't even have any charisma to start with it doesn't even matter so it does take off charisma but it raises your strength and your endurance and it's really good water resistance and the fact that it gives me an extra armor slot will be great because soon here i'm gonna be getting rid of my Dynamancer robes for the Asgardian set and obviously I'm going to be getting rid of the Hydromancer robes because I won't need them anymore. I'll have my Peter Snide transformation but I'll have an extra armor slot for either one, a damage armor, a, an armor that does tons of damage but has negative bonuses to yourself or I can have probably what I'm going to do is a generalist robe. The generalist robes are probably the best bet in my case because there are a lot of spells and skills on that armor that can help you hit more. And I'll probably be getting that because I have an extra armor slot. And I can still have all the elements um, being defended. When I, whenever I become a guardian, which has to be here soon, then I will be able to get the ultra guardian plates. Uh, whatever the, the... I think it's deft, possibly. I don't know. I'll, insightful. It's called the insightful ultra guardian plate. I'll be doing that on camera. But then I'm going to elementize that because I'm going to need each of the elements. Let's see here. I'll probably make it the element that I'm not going to be using. Like not, I, I don't have a good armor. So let's see. Undead Knight. Uh, okay. Gloom set. Gloom's Cloak. Gloom's Insignia. Uh, Zombie Bane Staff. Let's see what good, good on you. Fire. We'll use fire. Okay. Anyway. That is besides the point. Let's go into... Okay. Now I already have Twilight for Darkness. I have the Communicus set for light, Asgardian for energy, Earthward by the Morning Star, Void Vigilante's ice. I don't have a wind. Water will be a Pina Snide transformation, and fire will be Overlord. So the only one I don't have is wind. And wind, I have two options. I could either elementize my Archer Guardian plate, which I'm probably going to do, simply because then I can have the generalist robe then I'll have one of each element that I can defend from and I can also have the generalist robe however the armor that you can use for wind is actually free if you go to Ballyhoo you have a 50% chance of getting the offense well you have to go talk to her and then do this one thing but uh 50% chance of her taking to you to the offensive test armor shop or it's the defensive what you want is the offensive or the defensive, either one, but um, I'm going to go for the offensive one. And what that does is, one, it increases your armor lean. It's an, well, it doesn't increase anything. It gives you an armor lean of 1.25 times. has really good wind resistance, so it, it really is good against wind. But uh, you do 1.25 more damage, and so do the enemy enemies on you. So it's actually quite good. I have it on my main and well, I call him my main, but I need to stop calling him the pure warrior because this character is actually my main now. He's a he's a higher level, which is kind of funny. But let's see, we're gonna kill this guy. I'm hoping it's every two battles I get healed. That's what it was last time. Although last time I probably wasn't paying attention because everything was like level 60 and extremely easy to kill. See, these guys are what get me. They don't hit a lot and they don't bo really bother me. But the only problem I have with them is that they make me waste all of my mana. They have way too much health. It's kind of like that uh, Tub Thumper guy who just completely wastes my mana. I don't like you. Die. Wow. I'm probably just going to use all my mana on this guy and hope that we don't run it. That's the problem, though. See, if you get two in a row, and I know in the past I've actually gotten two in a row... It would really be bad if I got two of these guys in a row and I used all my mana on the previous fight. I would just get destroyed, probably. Th the reason is is because they have 165 luck. And they have 165 endurance. So, they hit like 5s and everything because they have like no stats at all. 
but when they do hit a lucky strike, which is, well, I guess not that often, but on the 10% chance that they do hit a lucky strike, then I am in bad shape. What I'm actually going to do, whoops, I accidentally used that, that was a horrible, horrible mistake. However, I still hit quite a bit, you know, figuring the, you know, that I was using the, a light weapon, although I did get a lucky strike, that would have been way more useful if I did something else. What is good against you, buddy? Okay, um, wind and darkness. What is my darkness? Glooms on ease. This would definitely do more because it is magic. I need to get a new darkness weapon. I know that for a fact. Okay. What does water do against you? 100%. We're going to be using the... We're going to be using the overlord set in a second here. We're going to switch over to the overlord set and the mana staff. The reason being is because we're going to need some backup. Well, not backup. Well, we need more mana is what we need. So we're actually going to flip on over to... I'm trying to think what is the best... Adventurer Shield 71. That's 70. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. We will be switching over to the Mana Staff, and we'll be hitting this guy. And what that will do is it will hit decent damage, and hopefully I'll get a couple Lucky Strikes here and there. But whenever I get like 900 mana again, I'll start using spells. Wow. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's gonna take a while. That's all right, though. Okay. Wow. 58 mana. I wasn't. Oh, I forgot. I actually did get the level 70 version, the sensational mana staff. I did get the level 70 version of the mana staff. Originally, I had the level 40 staff. Recently, I just got the level 70 version, which is really nice. It heals a lot of mana on most occasions. Sometimes it only heals 28. The good thing is, is that like the minimum I think it ever heals is like a 20. It might be around 28, so it doesn't heal. Uh, less than like a 25 or something like that. I don't even know. I've never gotten lower than a 25. And that was a voice crack. Who cares? And um, you see, look, when I talk for really long periods of time, which in these commentaries I do, I don't get a drink of water at all. And when my voice ends up cracking like halfway through, usually, sometimes it doesn't do that at all. Then like at the end, it doesn't. And it's like, whoa, I almost got through the whole thing. That's why a lot of times I actually have a water bottle handy. Because my throat gets really dry when I'm talking to a microphone for 12 minutes and 27 seconds, which is the time that we're at right now. Okay, I'm going to use the Undead Dragon Ambush once he gets to 1,000 health. Just because... I don't even know why I'm waiting until he gets to 1,000 health, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just because I don't have anything better to do. Die, die, die. The Lucky Strikes really do help me out. You know, they, they it seems like they don't double my damage, but a lot of times they do. I don't, it just gives like a, a random bonus, it, depending on your luck. The more luck you have, the uh, more our lucky strike will hit. But, um, generally speaking around what I do, I see it hit double or more than double. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's all about the luck, I guess. Hence the name of the skill, the attribute, I should say. See, these guys are so easy, they just, they're like the tub thumper. They're, they haven't got anything going for them except their health, and they just make some kind of annoying to kill. Their, their annoyance is what they are, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, hey man, I only hit sixes and fives, but I have 3,000 health. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, now we're going to use the undre Undead Dragon Ambush a couple times, probably two times, maybe once, maybe twice, maybe five times, I don't know. And we got a Lucky Strike there. See, sometimes Lucky Strikes are really good because... If you hit, if you get a low hit on a spell like that, say that the hit was originally like a, a 50, and you get a lucky strike, then it's gonna hit like a normal attack, like a 90 or something like that, which is pretty nice. Although sometimes, as you can see, a lucky strike only hits like a 76. That's what I'm talking about. You know, if it if it wasn't a lucky strike, it would hit a lot less than a 76. Okay, we're gonna take this guy down. If we run into any more of these guys, in the event that we do, and we probably will, I'm most likely going to pause the video and then come back when I beat them, because this fight took a long time. This was like the whole thing. This is like the whole video so far. Well, not the whole video, but uh, it took quite a bit of time to just kill this one guy. I guess we killed two of these guys, and we also killed... What else did we kill? An undead person. I don't know, like some undead knight or something. My... Memory is failing me right now, but who cares? 
die. Okay, um, let's see here. Twilly, heal me. Just seems like I've got, like, an infinite sustain right here because he cannot hit more than my Twilly can heal, which is really funny. I think I possibly can get a new Twilly soon. Probably around level 80 or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna try off camera. Well, whenever I stop recording this, sometime tonight I'm gonna hit my XP cap, and that'll be good. Oh, look, finally, a easy fight. No, okay, never mind. Forget what I said. Check that off the list. This is an easy fight. If he keeps on hitting that. Um, energy. He has 180 strength and 180 dexterity. Which is bad because he can dodge my attacks. But it's also good because my attacks are extremely accurate. I have more intellect than you have. Take that. Take that. Die. Yeah, I was originally actually going to uh, get 90 intellect before I came here. Although I'm probably just going to farm Dracath until I hit my XP cap today. And then I'm going to go to the stat trainer. And then after I do the stat trainer, I'll probably... Well, after I do the stat trainer, I'll just get off. But at the stat trainer, hopefully after hitting my XP cap at uh, Dracath, I will have enough to get myself all the way up to the point where I can buy. Well, not where I can buy, but I can get 200 intellect. I'm guessing not... Because as far as I know, the level 200 is insane. It's in, it's insanely expensive. And it's been getting really expensive over the past couple times I've been leveling up my intellect. But once I get that to level 200, I kind of just want to get that out of the way, so to speak. Because once I get that out of the way, I can start leveling up my dexterity and luck. I'm also going to detrain my endurance because I don't really want it anymore. There's no point for it. I don't want endurance on this build, period. Um, unless I'm at the end of the build, and I literally have 200 intellect, dexterity, and luck, and I have points left over, but I'm not going to be able to do that, so that's alright. Also, which one am I going to get first? I'm probably going to get... My order of business is I want to get 200 intellect first. That is the first priority. And then after I get 200 intellect, I'm probably going to get 140 dexterity. Possibly. I'm not sure yet. But I also want 50 luck. So 50 luck might be after 200 intellect. I'm not really sure yet. I'm still building the TCP mage build. I mean, technically, I say technically a lot, but who cares? Technically speaking, I am using a modified build of a pure mage. Basically what it is, is a pure mage modified to my choosing to be more powerful early game. If I was a pure mage, pure, like, a purely a pure mage, I would have endurance, I wouldn't have my luck, my intellect would be significantly lower, and I wouldn't hit as much. Later in the game, it's... I'm just gonna give him peace of my mind. I mean, later in the game, end game, I guess I said, I would say, the only difference is, is I'm not gonna have much endurance, but I think I, I will. Like, I'll have a little bit of endurance. So really, it's gonna be the same exact thing. I uh, just... A little bit of a different spin on it early in the game. Later on, it's pretty much just going to be the same exact thing. So, that's pretty much it. Cleric's Daring, we're selling all of the level 60 versions right now. Um, I'm also going to sell some of my misc items because I have these ones that are like level, level 20 from my Terror set and from the Solar set I got level 10. Um, the Solar set is pretty good. No, oh, and 28 energy tokens that I bought it for. Well, how much should I buy it for? I buy for 200 or 150 I don't even know I think it went up I think it went up I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore okay we're also gonna sell the zombie bane staff we'll get the par par paladin's passion sorry the zombie bane staff I'm gonna see this oh that's pretty cool but this is even cola okay um we want the shield P fearlessness we want the pet paladin's pledge and there's how much is it? Nope, definitely not. Why would you pay that much for that? Okay, Paladin's Pledge. Uh, I have a habit of looking to see if I have everything before I leave because I made that mistake on the Overload quest and I will not make it again. Now, I don't know if it, today I'm going to do any more of the armor quests. I know that I got my Void Vigilante, my Paladin armor, or well, my Communicant set, but I just want to see my stats with this. 37% to light. Good game. Anyways, guys. See ya. 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow.